we have our 14 by 17 Indian lengthwise. I'm going to detent the two. I'm going to change to table bucky because we're off from tabletop to table bucky. I am going to raise the table to help me out. We're going to use that whole 17 length of the IR so we want it at 44. And then last thing I need to do is line up my IR. So all these steps, you can do this in whichever order you want. Just as soon as you get your distance, your detented and you're lined up to your bucky, no longer touch your bucky or your camera. So for our AP, we're gonna turn this so the hand is supinated so that the condyles are parallel. Now, if you look when they're laying down here, our shoulder is here, our elbow's way out here, right? So it's not in the same plane. So first of all, I'm going to have you scoot your whole body to the left. And then, she did it for me already, but you're going to diagonal them. So scoot your hips just a little bit more, and it feels like you're going to fall off. Because just don't fall off. <laughs> And you have to scoot them way that way in order to get the humerus in the middle of the table. Okay, so now my arm here is more in the same plane. I'm going to tuck it in a little bit more now. So do you see how now it's in the same plane? Then all you do after that is center mid humerus. So you're going to want some light below that elbow. And you want about an inch and a half of light above the shoulder. So about three fingers. And you can have them bend that elbow and see I have light below it. I'm going to tuck that elbow back in for you. Make sure they're parallel. And this line, we just want it down side to side mid humerus. So see I'm down the middle. You can call them in side to side, but not top to bottom. We want the whole length side to side. You're going to have extra light over here, but you got to remember that head of the humerus comes way in this way, right? So just be cautious of that so you don't cut off the head of the humerus. Then you can put your right marker right there. Or this one. I'm really bad at the humerus. This one is like 64 at 8. So 64 kbp, 8 mass. You can shield them. For females, you can help shield those breast shafts by doing that because breast cancer is a risk. Males, you can just shield across their lap, but when you lay it this way, just be cautious that you don't go over the humerus. This way, make sure you're not in our shadow up there. And then we talked about the techniques, 64 at 8, we have our right marker, everything's lined up, don't move, don't breathe, and click. For the lateral, you just take the hand, and you're going to turn it palm in, palm down, thumb down. And now these epicondyles are perpendicular. It's very comfortable, right? <laughs> So when you do that, just watch because sometimes the arm drops a little bit. So make sure you still have that elbow in there. She did pretty good there. I would still have the marker. I'd still use the same technique and don't move, don't breathe and click. Okay. So when you rotate it again, because people always want to just do thumb down this way, your arm doesn't turn that way. So do palm or thumb up, thumb in, thumb down and it gets it there. Some people can't keep their arms straight, so you sometimes do have to put a slight bend in it to let them get to that position. Any questions on that one? And we are challenging all three of these together. <laughs> so I will move this and you can get off on that side or this side, whichever side is easier for you. So we have the rest of the time to